Hey, I'm Ultra David. And we are back live at a sold out crowd here in sunny Burbank, California. And we'd also again like to extend a warm welcome to those who are watching in both UK uh, and Paris at those arenas, which are also both sold out. With that being said, I think this is going to be one of the most exciting matches we've seen so far, as it's going to be the UK's own Ryan Hart going up against Perfect Legend from the USA. Yeah, there's a lot of history for both of these players, uh, multiple game specialists over the years. Uh, in fact, uh, both of them, I, I would say, have some of the strongest resumes of, of any player in any game. Uh, to start with, Perfect Legend, uh, of course, uh, lots of success in MK9 and in Injustice. He won EVO twice. That's correct. And uh, as well as Ryan Hart, also a consummate professional of his own. And also for all you guys watching at home, don't just watch the pros, be one of the pros. Sign up for the ESL Pro League today. Go to esl.gg slash mkxproleague. Compete online for money every week. The preseason begins April 19th. Season one begins May 3rd. And the top 16 will be broadcasted every Wednesday. Okay, so here we have perfect legend, Carl White. First at EVO 2011. First at EVO 2012. Fifth at EVO 2013. And he is the only Mortal Kombat 9 player with three Mortal Kombat 9 Evolution medals. Yeah, that's that, that's pretty impressive. And he, he comes into this still using Kung Lao. You know, it's the character that he used in MK9. And he's going to be going with the Buzzsaw variation for the most part. That, that character and that variation has a lot of similarity to the previous version of the character, which gives him, I think, a pretty significant advantage. Correct. His opponent, Ryan Hart, the prodigal son from the UK, won over 450 tournaments, two-time EVO champion, three-time Guinness World Record holders. He is a household name in fighting games and one of the absolute best fighting game players in the world. Yeah, I really think he's one of the most intelligent players. I think that's absolutely accurate to call him creative, nuanced, and intelligent. Uh, I'm, I'm always impressed when I talk with him ab about the game, the way he views it, I think is a little bit different than a lot of other people. He's been uh, playing with, with Kung Jin over the last couple of days. Uh, it's a character that he thinks lets him do most of the things that he wants to do fairly well. Uh, you know, well-balanced character, lots of different options. And uh, earlier today, I know he was playing against and with Kung Lao, just to make sure he has a handle on all of the options that PL is going to bring in. Correct. Both of these guys obviously doing their homework on each other. Uh, we actually had a chance to sit down with both of these competitors and find out their thoughts about both Mortal Kombat X and this Fatal 8 tournament. And let's see what they had to say. I first played Mortal Kombat at a local arcade when I was about 15. And that was Mortal Kombat 1. And I remember seeing Sub-Zero's Fatality for the first time ever and I was completely blown away. Um, especially it was 2018, I was only 15. But yeah, that's where it, that's where it all began. Mortal Kombat offers um, special properties for me as a fighting games fan. I like the fact that you have to use a block button so that you have to be quite strict in how you utilize your movement around the screen because actually using a block button means you can't actually move. So there's a, an, an extra layer of responsibility in how you use your hands and I enjoy that difference. I feel that my um, ability to express creativity in real-time environment under pressure is what makes me excel above others. I got into the Mortal Kombat scene, um, well, I wouldn't really say I got into the Mortal Kombat scene first, it was more I was just around in the fighting game scene when Mortal Kombat was popular. And um, that all began playing in local arcades where I lived uh, in South London and um, it extended to central London where all the top players got together. Then tournaments started to uh, become more and more popular and my world travels began there. Um, I've been to over, I think, 30 countries for different tournaments and um, I actually have a Guinness World Record for the most number of countries travelled to to win fighting game tournaments. And you have to be really able to multitask in, 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 like in real time under pressure and that's not an easy thing. So the fact that NetherRealm have uh, made an effort to put, integrate all those things to encourage players from all different fighting game genres to get involved is really good. I've got a lot of respect for all of the top Mortal Kombat players. Uh, Perfect Legend, obviously EVO Champion. Um, uh, forgetting the names now. KIT, I've seen some of his matches as well. And um, of course Sonic Fox, a um, very young, young talented guy. So no, I, I, I like what they've done with the game and how they've uh, managed to produce such high quality matches. And also the fact that they're getting into the new one, showing support for it, can only mean good things for the future. I'd like to give a big shout out to um, Falcon Arena, my sponsor. Um, if it wasn't for them, I would have been able to travel around this year, so really grateful to them. Shout out to ESL for having me. This is a, a great pleasure. I love being in America, and I'm so happy to be one of the first people to get a hands-on in high-level tournament of this, of this nature. So, yeah, thank you, everyone.
I first got into the Mortal Kombat competitive scene back in 2011. Uh, my friend Tom Brady, well, he all, his name is Bill Manus, but he goes by Tom Brady. And he got me into the game. He was like, hey, you should come play Mortal Kombat because there's a new one coming out. It's going to be very balanced. I loved every second of it. And when I got into it, I felt right at home. Everything I've ever wanted in a fighting game, Mortal Kombat pretty much emulated that. And Mortal Kombat X, from what I've been seeing, it even enhances on that. Like, everything Kung Fu about fighting games, I love. And I feel like Mortal Kombat immortalizes that. And it, they took in different parts of, like, Kung, Kung Fu lore and movies and put it all together and it's just, it's great. Now we have Kung Lao who emulates Ip Man and then you have Liu Kang that emulates Bruce Lee just for example, but a lot of the characters share that same like Chinese, Japanese lore and then of course they bring in like America and they try to reach out to the entire demographic of people. That's why I love Mortal Kombat and of course like the game is really fun. I see it, you know, becoming something very big on a major scale. Like I want this to grow like beyond anything I can imagine. Like, I feel like this entire event in the series is gonna really take competitive gaming to the, to the heights of mainstream. And that's what I've been wanting forever. I wanted to thank my dad. Like, there's been times in the past 10 years I wanted to quit and stop playing. And he's like, Carl, you need to stick with it. And, you know, don't give up. You, you, know, you have a hard loss or something. He's always like there to push me regardless. Like he helps me with everything. I, of course, I want to thank my, uh, my sponsor, Razor. I also want to thank my partners, Alienware and Elgato. Um, also ESL for just putting this together. Netherrealm Studios, Warner Brothers. And I, and Xbox as well. I can't wait to compete in ESL, hopefully for the next 10, 20 years. And indeed, who is next, as in who will be the next player to advance in this Fatal 8 tournament? We've got both of these guys. They're going through their button checks, I guess, making sure their characters are on screen, making sure their variations are picked and ready to go. And I expect it to be, as you said, Perfect Legend playing uh, Kung Lao and Buzzsaw and Brian Hart playing Kung Jin. And again, don't forget to go and make your predictions for the winner of this match. All yeah, right. should, should be uh, Bojitsu for Kung Jin. Look, going into this, I really think that PL has has a big advantage. There's there's a lot of history that he has in the game, and when he found uh, Kung Lao in this version, of course there are some some differences, but there are so many similarities that he just really jumped right into it. That being and said, that's that that's that's been that's been tough for Ryan Hart. Uh, and that's true. That being said, Ryan Hart is very patient. So Perfect Legend's offensive style, Ryan Hart is very bend but don't break Ooh, in his man. defense. That's that's already something that that. He all oh, wanted to do very early EX spin. Oh, yeah. missed the combo. Yeah, but Ryan Hart, very wide. He, he, it was important for him to respond immediately and send a message back that he's not going to go down too far in this right. fight. Right. Yeah, you, you cannot let Carl know that you're scared of him. Very true, very true. Oh, this pressure, uh, though. Yeah, and he breakers there. Breakers. So now he's got no stamina. Wow, big whiff and a big punish Ooh. by Perfect Legend. Not quite death. Oh, this setup. Oh, what a big setup. And that's, yeah. yes. And that is a chip out death there. Now Ryan Hart is now starting in the corner, so he's got to do something about his position. Very nice uppercut. Okay, this may be the start now. Jump back dive kick. Oh, and right back in this the corner. This is looking like classic Carl. No rest for the weary here for Ryan Hart. Oh, and the he overhead. stays in the corner. Nice confirm. He's just caught. The, okay. Oh, very nice. Yikes. Armored launcher. Yeah, this would, is would be, be safe on block. Yeah, about 35% here, and it is. All right, Ryan Hart, very nice. I don't know if that zone is going to work out. Yeah, he okay, just jumps oh. over. Ooh. Oh, Nice read by Carl. Here's the setup. Oh, jabs him out of it though. And doesn't get a conversion. That was a chance. Oh, very oh, big. He gets through. Ryan Hart has. Oh, very nice. He's, he's got to make no some big stamina. reads. He's got to make something big happen here. He's got no stamina. Big reads. Low head. Oh, the low no. head connects. And that's it. And Carl had something else after that anyway. So, Perfect Legend takes game one. It just seemed like Ryan Hart never got anything going. It seemed like Perfect Legend was just always in the air. <laughs> You know, it just seemed like Reinhardt yeah. could never get a piece of it. Yeah, there's that one. All right, now let's look what they're doing here. I do not expect either of these competitors to change anything at all. No, they've been very consistently playing these two characters and these two variations over the past day and a half. Very true. And keep in mind, it is first to five, so you have plenty of time to really, okay, the first game is kind of like a feel out. Even the first two games, readjust and come back and win. Yeah, Ryan told me that he thinks that that does not favor him because he only has so many strategies so far in, in the game. And he thinks that in, f in five games like that, that's going to be tough for him to keep up. Carl might get the read. 
Correct, correct, correct. And it's also an, at this point in the game where there's so much that is unfamiliar, right. you don't want to find yourself in a big hole. Okay, well, here's a chance to start things off. I okay. love that corner carry. Yeah, Ryan Hart is adjusting that to the fact that Perfect Legend is in the air a lot, not wanting to get hit by those 50-50 mix-ups with Kung Jin. Right. Oh, Jab Album tried to continue. That was pretty sweet. Yeah. Pressure here the from... Oh! There's the double overhead string. Yeah, he was able to punish the teleport several Ooh, times Oh, this up! Oh, he just got to deal with it. Oh, no punish. Ryan Hart gets away with one there. Very big. Oh, and he oh, EX spins. That is such classic Perfect Legend. Yeah, yeah you just, can... just chip out. If, if you think that it's time for you to press a button, it's not. Exactly. You can definitely see both of these players, you know, kind of a little hesitant right now, still trying to settle in here. Oh, big, big, big jump in here. Okay, meaty again. There's no... If, if, if you don't have armor, you don't have any wake-up in this game. Wake-up does not give invincibility, so no. he can pressure, pressure right now. There's still no EX. Yeah, Carl's just trying to jump out. Correct, and that was a big conversion from Ryan Hart and Perfect Legend out of the corner, but he finds himself right back in the corner, and he combos Ryan Hart all the way across the screen into the other corner. Oh, wow. Wow, that Perfect pressure. Legend just all over the place. Yeah, it looks like, looks like Prodigal Sun is being overwhelmed. Oh, that set up again. Oh, there we go. Big out. armor list is going to hurt. This is going to take a good amount of life here. He's got to get the opponent yeah. close. Yeah, I really oh, like that idea. Throw. Oh, oh spin. spin. Doesn't but get no the rest. conversion, and he uses armor to go over the low hat. Teleport. Oh, very oh, nice. Can't punish, try to he convert. does a down jab instead of a standing jab. Oh, this could does be it. Does not have breaker. Because not quite there. Hold on. Can he get out of this? Oh! Oh, oh that's it. I don't it. believe it. Wow. It was a double KO call. Now pressing in the corner. Oh, jump out. Perfect time, but there's the spin. Oh, my gosh. Wow. That was a heartbreaker. That was a heartbreaker. Look, but if you're if you're Reinhardt, you can build on this. You lost the first game pretty significantly. The second one went to that extension. After that, even you know, it was still not a blow up. So I, I feel like if if you're him, you can at least use that to build on something emotionally, mentally. Co correct. I mean, that was that's a heartbreaker for sure. Yeah. But again, these guys are professionals. So I mean, these guys overcome these things all the time. Sure. But like you said, you don't want to find yourself in a two a hole at this point in the game. Right. Look at this carry. Look at that damage. Yeah, and he's got him in the corner now. Ryan Hart got to get out here. Nice it, block. Okay. No oh, he doesn't get the Ryan rest. Hart. He does not go. That was a big opportunity the lost. Punish there. there we go. This is big damage. He was hitting these in the back room. Wow, this is very nice. Yes. 36%. And still pressuring. Carl wants to jump out. And Ryan Hart taking control of the match now. Oh! You have to block in that situation. Oh! He and he did not, block, yeah. but then right after that EX spin. And there's the low. I like the decision. You know, you need, yeah. you need a swing. You need to get something back in your favor here. Yes, needed something big, and that was his chance. Just overwhelming. There we go. Big damage here. Okay. Okay. Keeps him in the corner. That's yeah. There we go. Very nice. There's a little chat. Yep. Correct. Yeah. That overhead. The teleport is unsafe. EX spin. Perfect legend is not going to respect any of Ryan Hart's arson, and this is no. going to hurt. Yeah. This Carl's is going to hurt. Carl has described his style to me in the past as being random number generation. And I think that's accurate. It's really tough to get a read in those situations. Correct. Now, Ryan has to be careful. This is where some opponents start playing not to lose rather than to win. Ooh. And he is going to win this round. He got around. Ryan Hart is on the board. Good adjustment there from Ryan Hart. Okay, very nice. Avoiding those hats. And these are these EX hats yes. are costing Perfect Legend Meter, which is going to hurt him if Ryan Hart can seem to knock him down. Okay, and just a like big this. conversion here. This could be big. All right, looking more consistent. Good damage there from Ryan Hart, but now he's caught once again. Oh, big whiff, and Perfect Legend does not punish him. Ryan Hart gets away with one there. Oh, the, well, that's, that's, yeah, I was going to say, that was quite a challenge to press that string two times in a row. Third time, Perfect Legend spun out. Correct. Goes for the overhead. Good hit confirm. Oh, and oh the low. Wow, this and Perfect Legend has no meter. Will he convert it? This cannot break. He needs something else. He's... Oh, man, he's doing a down jab instead of a standing jab, which is armor safe. Motion, that's safe. Jumps in, has a bar still. Gonna work on two. Oh, if he gets it, there's it. the breaker. Oh, there's the breaker. breaker. He just got it at just the right time. So he has to be. Oh, oh brutality. brutality! Entirely on purpose. Huge momentum swing here by Ryan Hart. Taking a sip to try to settle Taking himself a sip, down. And he can take a deep breath after that one. Gets himself right back on the board. So we are not gonna see another 5-0. No, we will not. And Ryan Hart again. Like he said. One of his biggest strengths is being able to adapt in high-pressure situations, and we're seeing that right now. Round one. Okay, going right back into it now. Let's see if Ryan Hart can pick up where he left off. 
gets the knockdown. Oh, big damage here again. Gonna have the corner after this. Yeah, and this is big because he's really converting these a lot now. Yeah, he's looking much better. I love the break. Oh, but of course the oh, teleport. That's that's unsafe. He could have punished that. I think he had the right idea. Oh, oh wow. Right over the Good low read. Hat. Perfect legend trying to jump now out. Now he has a bar. Go. Spends it immediately. But this is also preventing him from breaking, which is oh, means he has he's not been punished on that. No, he is not. Oh, and no punish again. Yeah, quite Perfect punishable. legend, I believe, wanted would, would have loved to have ex spin that. Oh, Ooh. he tried to dive kick there. Yeah, he did not get it. Yeah, Ryan just, oh looking, just looking for it. You can see him putting out the Ryan down one even in, advan even in advance. Yeah, okay. Preemptive down ones. He's, he's getting some important reads right now on Perfect Legend. He is, and Ryan Hart is settling down, and now he's really punishing what was giving him problems, which is that teleport. Okay, on reaction. Spends a bar, though. Not going to have Breaker. Yeah, I don't believe he needs the bar there. Big damage again by Ryan Hart. Oh, wow. Wow, very them. nice. Oh, wow. oh yeah, this there's, is there's the big grab. damage. Mm -hmm. Perfect Legend. Wow, look at that red up on top there. And it's finally punished now. Oh, misses the combo. These are big. These are big moments when you can close people out. Looks like he. Oh, he could have done it again. There it okay, is. Okay, there we go. It's these little pixels that really decide who ultimately is going to probably come through and win this thing. Final round. Fight. Oh, good oh. read. Not corner pressure. The corner. Here's the grab. Good throw. Yep. Keep and him Ryan in there. Ryan Hart has been waking up with meter a lot. Let's see if Perfect Legend. There's scouts the meter. Is. Yeah. It should not break. Very smart of Ryan Hart not to break. Probably should have EX that is. The EX dive kick is safe, but I don't think he wanted to get off his breaker. Reinhardt looking for that 50 Ooh, there's situation. a lot to be punished. Okay, here's okay. finally a chance. He's getting started. Carl has a bar. Okay, is he going to block? Is perfect? No, perfect legend. Why is he tech rolls? Throws a hat, trying to get his face again. You can see Ryan, he does not want to overcommit in case of teleport. Oh, no, dash in. I really like that idea for perfect legend. Oh, punish! No, not quite there. No, not there. Ryan Hart needs to do something. Wow. Perfect Legend is now out of me. Ryan, oh, Ryan has the bar. Ryan has the bar. If he He's can get a hit, to... he can make it count. Perfect Legend is trying to stay airborne. Yeah. Oh! Oh, oh missed. Punish. No. Oh, oh well, it's a grab. No. Not grab. actually punished, but hey, no. that works out oh, fine. Oh, and a brutality of his own. Perfect Legend returning the favor. Brutality. You would never okay. know by looks, how calm they look at these guys. Yeah, he looks comfortable. For $7, $500. You, you would never well, know. Look, it. they've both been in very big situations before. They've been, you know, top level players in uh, multiple games for 15 years. All right, so perfect legend. You know what? I think he wants to start off fast. He doesn't want oh, Ryan no. Hart to get started this time like he did last time. Yeah, it looks like that's what's going on here. He's really trying to pressure. Yeah, and oh, unsafe, unsafe but, no, but not but punished. The, the wrong punish there, but it goes over the low hat there. Probably should a dive kick. No punish there by Perfect Legend. Oh, oh there was another a, chance. Okay, it wasn't a punish, but he still gets his damage. Got low. And this is going to be good damage here by Ryan Hart. 32%. And that's... He doesn't realize that is a, but it's punishable. That's punishable as well. Perfect Legend. Both of these guys are basically missing a lot of things, which is to be expected You know, it's, it's day, day two for them. Correct. And Ryan Hart. Oh, is he going to spend oh, it? He does. That could be huge. If Perfect Legend does not close this out, this could be big. Oh... Oh, oh, the hit, the errant hit, it worked. That was worth it. That yeah, was oh, worth of course, it. Of course. Catches perfect legend now, doesn't have a breaker. So Great preemptive neutral jump yes. punch, I love it. So any damage that Ryan Hart does now, perfect legend will not be able to break until he gets his meter okay, back. Okay, here comes Ryan here it still. Comes. Is perfect legend going to break? No, he's, well, he's not. He on the corner. that meter for the threat on wake up. Well, I don't know, that cost him a lot of life. It did. But now he has the situation he wants. Oh, not for oh, long. Here we go. Okay, he's got something going. He got him knocked down. Where's he going to go with it? Really trying to just jump yeah, out really of that. I love the conversion, though. Ryan Hart does have X-ray, which might kill him. Yeah, if he can get a combo now, I saw him doing 40% X-ray combos. If he can X-ray Perfect Legend through that hat. He is really keeping it. Yeah. Keeping the bar for something. Oh, just runs in. Yeah, and does not spend it. Very smart. Perfect Legend also. Both whittling each other down here. Oh, he tried for it. It didn't oh. work. He had a chance to punish. He didn't get it. Oh, you got to wonder when the spin's coming. There it is. There it is. Wow, Ryan Hart. He ran in and did it. All he had to do was wait like a split more second. That's where the patience were. Perfect legend. Really smelling blood right now. Knows Ryan Hart has no meter on wake up. Yeah, that's exactly what he Ryan needs Hart to do. Ryan Hart jump out If here. you have no meter, you have no options. Oh, big conversion here. And perfect legend now cannot break. 
Okay, hands. what's he gonna do with it? Wow, jump, punch, dive kick. Going to very, the air. Yeah, very good collision on that jump and punch. Perfect Legend making great use of it right now. Here's the low starter. Okay, and here's Ryan Hart. Now, can he finish? Oh, wow, and he does not. Oh, here's a chance, though. Oh, is this it? Can is that gonna be enough? I don't know. And he uses the meter. Oh, wow. Oh, it is. Just barely. That last uses hit was the meter just barely. And the fatality. So three wins for a Perfect Legend, two for Ryan Hart. It's first to five. Correct. First Ra to five. Yes, Ryan Hart, very settled. And again, this is why, you know, these guys are professionals. Realizing it is a first to five, none of them panicked. They stuck with their guns. Mm -hmm. Ryan Hart is just content to play this battle with Perfect Legends, probably seeing if he can bait him to overcommit. So rather than chasing him down, if he can get him to try to take the initiative. Just like that. Like that. Reinhardt went to the air. There's the EX Perfect Legend knocked him down. I think the problem is right now a lot of Perfect Legends options are involved the EX Pin, so he's spending a ton of meter. Well, he's building a lot of meter right now, too. Two and a half already. He is. He is. He is indeed. But the problem is when he needs the meter to break, it's no longer available to him. Or sometimes he finds himself holding on to it a little too long just to use those spins. Ooh, right over. And that does go over it. Wow, Ryan Hart. Very good adjustment. And again, no punish. The EX Spin, PL wants to make sure he remembers it's there. Yeah, those are really the opportunities where he uses the EX Spin, not necessarily in wake-up, but to maintain control, maintain momentum. Correct. All right, so Perfect Legend takes the first round here. And oh, preemptive, but not really punished. And Brian Hart just brought out something new. Trying oh, to throw out those big buttons. Here we go. You know what? These are the strings people don't know about. They don't know what hits low, what hits mid. This is where these things come into play. Yeah. Not everybody knows everything yet. That's true. Okay, this pressure's really working out. Yeah, Got perfect legend. Oh. Okay, there you go. Ryan Hart runs He really in. tried to get him on yeah, the back, really I think, there. To. Just not enough range. Very not, close, though. Yeah, I think he could have EX dive kicked him, but doesn't want to take the chance. You heard that uh, beeping noise. That means that one player is out of stamina and they cannot perform the function that they are trying to do. Perfect legend putting that jab pressure on him. Wow, that is advantage. And Ryan Hart just looks a little Oh, right yeah, now. there's the grab finally. There's the throw. Yeah. Yeah, this is looking real tough for Ryan. But this he is needs... right what he needs. Well, he, he needs he needs more than this. He needs at least one more mix-up. Oh, okay. okay. There, there's the wow. low starter. There's the low starter. Is he going to build enough bar for another throw? No. no, not quite. So close, though. Oh, oh, what a read. He's seen that work out each time. Yes. It's the fatality, though. Yeah, uses the armor on the EX teleport. He had Ryan Hart so fixated on that EX spin. Yes, absolutely. That the EX teleport, you know, takes the hit, but he turned around. Ryan Hart, his first reaction was to block, didn't want to give anything up, but he does have a throw out of that. That throw has, has worked each time. Perfect Legends use it. Yep, Perfect Legend. I mean, if Ryan Hart is not anticipating the teleport to jab him out of the air, but the throw is literally 100% right now. I and love there. that read right there. You see, yes. down one, wait, wait. It's exactly what he needed. Okay, I don't. Th that might have been a mistake. Yeah, maybe it was the bait to stop from jumping out of the corner. Okay, Perfect Legend. Okay, okay great pressure. See, right back in there. Yeah, Dashes in. Yeah, these come. As long as Ryan Hart is not really giving up the big, big damage. I really like he's saving stamina. He's approaching, but not running. Very true. Does not want to get caught in a situation where he's not able to break if he builds enough meter point. Now he right. has no meter. Okay, trying to build a little bit of meter here. But there's, there's, right. there's just so much defense right now on Ryan's side, and, and oh. I, I feel like he's being overwhelmed. There's a chance now to finally stay away. Yeah, and uh, he had to jump in there. It was a very good situation there. He definitely had... Oh, not oh, baiting yeah. that. Okay, so Ryan Hart did not have stamina. He was trying to advance in. A Perfect Legend now has Ooh. no meter. Oh, out of the air. But a little bit too far for the rest. Yeah, so Perfect Legend is literally just trying to stay He's zoning. Oh, that's what everybody thought he was going to do. But he dashes up for the ground. Very true. Now, Perfect Legend, he wants to stay airborne. You know, he doesn't want to be... I don't think he wants to be stuck on the ground here against Ryan Hart. I mean, he doesn't want to take those 50-50s, even though Ryan Hart at one time was just dive-kicking him out of the air to make him respect that option. Perhaps playing a little too safe right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of patience. Ooh, too oh, far. No more stamina. Yeah, Tries to throw the interactable or something like that, but yeah, he is sitting. And there's that throw again. Ryan Hart. Oh, well, throws okay. it out. Okay. There's that overhead. Nice juggle. It's going to yeah, be corner. Yeah, going to go to a full combo. Oh, set up in advance. Oh, wow, right over the though. 
Wow. Oh, make it happen. Okay. There we go. And this is right what he needed. Oh, wow. Drops the combo at the worst And then time. he's looking for spin. I love it by Carl to read that. He just jumped yeah. on wake up pressure already. Yeah, Ryan Hart has not been punishing that. Several times he's down jabbed him there, and I don't know if he realizes that that's actually a punish, or maybe he thinks that maybe Perfect Legend is not blocked. Right. So he really can't afford too much more of this, even on chip. Oh, that was a big opportunity. Oh, oh my hey! Gosh. Hold on! Will he convert it? Yeah. Oh, no, hold on! Oh, no. oh, there it is, the arrow, the delayed arrow. And Perfect Legend is now in the corner with no meter. He tried to do that for a chip out, and the EX uh, dive kick oh, spins him out of the air. You see, you saw him just waiting right there? That's true. 22% though, Ryan Hart will survive this. He does out damage uh, Kung Lao here. Misses. Well, Perfect Legend is now just letting it all out. So arrow. mobile on his wake up. Really hard to oh, here we go. Okay, here it is. He gets caught ducking. Or jumping. There we go. Ryan Hart. Oh, man. He oh, that. again the jump. Okay, there's maybe corner for Ryan okay, Hart now. Not for long. There, he's just going to get a hit. Yep. Okay, he's going airborne. Now maybe using some perfect legend zone strategies on him. You know, he's been getting that, but just not the rest of the combo. Yeah, he's. I, I, I'm not really sure what exactly he could be doing to get some meat and potatoes there. Oh, that was a punish. Oh, spin! And he does a regular spin. The regular There's spin. no invincibility on that, but it was just a mistimed immediate attack. Yeah, it was. it is too fast. And there we have the fatality again by Perfect Legend, and that will do it. Five to two. Kung Lao wins. There you go. Congrats to Perfect Legend. He's going to move on. Yeah, and the thing is, I think ultimately the problem that I saw was that Ryan Hart just ended up playing too safe for, you know, in, in that last game there. I mean, I just think that um, Perfect Legend realized, you know what, it's the last game. This guy is no longer dive kicking me out of the air. He's no longer throwing out those people jump punches. You know, so I'm going to stay airborne. I'm going to force Ryan Hart, you know, to, to commit and do something that he might not want to do in this situation, and it paid off for him. Yeah, in about the, the second or third game, it looked like Ryan was starting to even things up. Uh, but I think what might have happened was what he mentioned to me was that in a, in a long set against somebody who has so much experience with this game in particular and, and with that character in a way, uh, he feels like he only had you know, so, much, so, so high of a level before the other player could make an adaptation that would counter his own that he would find it tough to, to come back from that. That's, yeah. what, that's, I think, what happened. Yeah, very true. And again, uh, unfortunate for Ryan Hart who goes home, but Perfect Legend does advance uh, to the next round. Guarantees himself at least $500, so that's good, and a chance at the 7500 And with the winner on stage, we have Clutch with Perfect Legend. Thank you, gentlemen. Congratulations, Carl. Now you're moving on to the semifinals. Some impeccable play coming from Kung Lao. I know you love the buzzsaw variation. We saw that today. But first of all, let's give it up for Ryan Prodigal Sun Hart. He is a beast, one of the heroes of the UK scene. And we hope to see more of him in Mortal Kombat X. But Carl, tell me about that corner sequence from Kung Lao. Uh, the, the combo that I did, uh, I just figured that out yesterday. It, it, it's kind of funny, like, everything with Kung Lao that I'm doing, like, uh, up until this morning, I didn't know what I wanted to do. I was so lost. And I'm like, okay, I kind of have a game plan. I'm still filling things out, and Ryan played really well. I like the way he adapted. I hope he keeps playing the game, too. Definitely a lot of adaption coming from Kung Jin there, but that match extension, what was going through your mind when that happened? Man, that's what I thought. <laughs> like, when that happened, I was just like, man, come on, dude. Like, let me, can I do more damage so I can win? But as soon as it happened, uh, I don't know, you just had to play it out just another round, just with, what, 20% health. So I was like, well, I got to make the right read. I can't remember if I won that match or not, but I do remember the match extension. <laughs> And finally, that wake-up punish from Kung Jin. He was starting to read some of your teleports. How were you able to adapt and overcome those? Well, really, I was just rolling the dice. I'm like, okay, maybe this time he'll get hit by the overhead. No, he either punished it every time or he blocked it. So eventually, I started doing throws, but I didn't do them enough. And that, like doing the teleports kind of costed me. Uh, Reinhardt is a phenomenal player. He's been playing forever and as far as like good at reading. So I was like, I, you know what? I'm not going to try to get up next to him and try to play like up close because Kung Jin has a good overhead low mix up. And I actually don't. So it's better if I just zone. That's, that's how I kind of won. And finally, Perfect Legend, anything you'd like to say to your fans? Uh, thank you for supporting me. Everybody that's tweeting me and stuff. I've never been shown this much love before. Usually everybody's like, oh, I can't wait for you to lose and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> now, now everyone is like, 
yeah, man, you got it. And I'm like, dude, for real? Like, I, first off, this is my first time playing the game. Two, this is not Kung Lao from MK9, so I have to, like, really fill it out. But I want to thank everybody supporting me back home on Twitter, every, everyone. Give it up for Carl. Perfect Legend White, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to get ready for our next matchup. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, the ESL Mortal Kombat X Fatal 8, presented by Xbox, continues after this. I've long regretted losing our comrades' souls to 